Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Buhari will set Nigeria on fire. Wiki blast. Hey. Hello, everyone. I am in support of Newsom Wiki because this man called Buhari has not allowed this country, I mean, to, to thrive. Oh, hmm. He keeps on borrowing money, constructing rates on Niger, going to, you know, uh, set up a refinery in Niger to employ Niger Republic with citizens. Why Nigerians, are, you know, young graduates are looking for a job. Hmm. By the way, hello everyone, a very warm big thank you to you. Please could you give us a thumbs up and subscribe if this is your first time. Newsome Weekend, the executive governor of River State is sending a strong message out there for everyone and anyone who cares to listen. He said, listen, <laughs> Muhammad Buhari is going to set Nigeria on fire if we continue on this downward train and do not really speak up and allow, you know, things to be done decently and order. Muhammad Buhari is going to set this country on fire. And Wike is speaking. Let's get straight into the news and hear what our very own brother, Nusom Wike, has got to say and why he feels strongly that Muhammad Buhari will set the country on fire. River State Governor Nusom Wike has advised President Muhammad Buhari to listen to the demands of the people or set Nigeria on fire. The advice came just 48 hours after Wike host, hosted in Port Harcourt a meeting of the South-South Governor and a presidential team handled by Professor Ibrahim Gamberi, Chief of Staff to Nusom Wike. At the meeting, the governors made a demand for the restructuring of Nigeria and also the relocation of oil companies from Lagos to the Niger Delta. The usual voluble and blast governor spoke to, again about what is going on on Channel's TV program Sunday Daily. We must understand in this country that political leadership is a very key fundamental part of Nigeria. Having the political will to implement what the people want is very serious and must be considered. You cannot throw the will of the people just down the drain or pretend like you're not listening or hearing what they are saying. Having the politics being played the way it is today, we implement what will happen. It has serious consequences, the actions we are taking. I don't want to talk about the issues of distrust or any trust in government. People have raised such issues they have that they don't think that not that they think nothing is working with dialogue especially in this country i don't agree with that i believe that if the president does not do even the opportunity do with the opportunity he has he can put the whole country on fire he has to listen to the people failure to listen to the people will set nigeria on fire muhammadu buhari has to pay attention to what really matters so my people there you go there you go. Uh, you know, Nusom Wiki has spoken. He said Muhammad Buhari has to pay attention. He has to pay attention, you know. Has to pay, you know, great attention on what is going on. Because the truth of the matter is, if we continue to pretend like nothing is happening, we continue to pretend like, you know, the, the, the guy there in Asorok, the Fulani boy, is doing well by the people. Because, I mean, people that are surrounding him, they are just... In fact, they, are, they make this country worse off. I tell you sincerely. They go to him and they tell him, yeah, you are doing very well. Imagine Femi Adeshino telling President Muhammad Buhari, saying, ah, you are very kind. Oh. In fact, Buhari, uh, uh, you know, he, 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 he behaved, he, 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 he approached the matter like a father. If he has not done so, in fact, what would have happened would have been that uh, Nigeria would have been destroyed. Muhammad Buhari addressed the matter and he behaved as a father. You know, behave as a father on the answers that took life of people. I remember what happened to Buhari when his son had an accident. Nobody in Senna go ride bike or bike. Even the bike is higher than some people per annum salary. The money is spent on the bike alone. You know, we don't know where he got that money from. And yet the father said Nigerians are lazy youths. You see? So, um, I mean, this is what is going on. And when the boy had that accident, Muhammad Buhari abandoned every other thing. Went straight to the side of his son. 
Because why? He cared that something has happened. But other Nigerians, he care less. He can do whatever he wants to do. He can continue as if nothing is happening. Destroy the life of the people. You know, behave as if nothing is happening. And Buhari just stays there, you know, and, and, and just allow things to go on. And Nigerians are saying, we have a leader. Oh, no, we don't have a leader. This country lack leadership. This country lacks serious leadership. It does really lack serious leadership. So, in fact, I concur with Wiki. It's one of the governors who will speak and who will speak his mind. Who will speak without looking at whoever is being offended or not being offended. You know, Wiki said Buhari has to listen to the people. If he does not listen to the people, he's only propagating and putting, you know, the days of setting the fire just in front of him. That he wants to turn Nigeria into a nation that people that have nobody, no one, and nowhere to turn to. You cannot marginalize the people. We know that you are, you know, your actions shows that you are more Niger than Nigeria. Maybe your father is from Niger, your mother is from Nigeria. We don't know exactly, but your actions shows that. Because what do you do? You go ahead and you construct ray when all the ray service in Nigeria has not been, you know, thoroughly and properly connected. You construct ray with Nigerians money all the way to Niger. As if that is not enough. Muhammad Buhari, you know, refinery. You don't know if they construct a refinery in Nigeria. It will give opportunity for the youth to be employed. Will people not work in that refinery? Of course, they will work in that refinery. Of course, people will work in that refinery. It gave opportunity for the people to be, you know, to be employed, which will also in turn solve out the issues on ground. And Nigeria will become a better place. But guess what? It took the ray and went to construct it all the way in Niji with Nigerians' money. Then they determine how much is being sold. How much they sell, uh, how much they sell uh, are fuel for. They come and they tell you the price is increasing today, is increasing tomorrow. They tell you it's increasing today, it's increasing, it's increasing tomorrow. And you tell me that this is a this is a this is a country that pays attention to her citizens. My people, there is there is something more to it than beneath the eyes. This country must move forward. This country must move forward, and we cannot allow those who have no true agenda, no true, you know, true intention for this country. Anyone or everyone who does not want Nigeria to be better will have to go one way or the other. We have to make sure that this country becomes a home for us rather than allowing some people to dictate how we, how we live in our country. Anyway, my people, this is happening in real life. This is happening right now and um, we just want to keep you informed. You know, Wiki has told him, if you don't pay attention, You'll be destroying Nigeria as a whole with your own actions. Anyway, guys, leave us a comment. Let's hear your thoughts. God bless you. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now.